Okay, we've got Michael Fido and Russell Weir, two Scotland Sevens internationalists. New Sevens shirts home and away today. What are your thoughts, Michael? Uh, well, I, I personally really like them. Uh, it's something that we've not ever seen in a Scotland jersey before, and uh, pretty excited to, to play in them. They, they certainly make a statement, and and hopefully we we uh, we uh, start the new season well. Russell, um, Sevens is all about the party atmosphere. It's a carnival, fancy dress. Do you think these shirts kind of complement that um, that 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 part of Sevens? Yeah, I think so. I think the blue, the blue one's like a bit more subtly cool, but the, the pink one's definitely got a bit more of a statement about it. Um, hopefully, the boys when they're wearing them can uh, can be entertaining and, uh, and just do do the shirts proud. Something that you had the opportunity to do as a as a, a player and now a coach. Um, what are the reasons behind you you taking on the Scotland Sevens role as a head coach? Your first head coach role. I think f first and foremost, I. There was, a, there was a real opportunity handed to me to come back to Scotland. Um, I'm very passionate about Scottish rugby um, and with regards to it being a, a head coaching role, um, I'd been an assistant down at Newcastle for, for three seasons um, and even though it is w within the Sevens, which I am very passionate about, I think the processes between the Sevens and the Fifteens game as a head coach are very transferable. and. Um, I just saw it as a very big opportunity. It's fantastic that the, uh, the Sevens team are here unveiling the new uh, Scotland Sevens uh, kit, which is now sponsored by BT. Uh, this will be the kit that goes around the world with the team on the RB7 circuit. I think we're the first stop over in Australia on the Gold Coast. Um, when we sit down with our de designers, Macron, we give them a challenge to come up with something really striking that look fantastic around the world and that look great for our supporters to wear, both at home in Scotland and internationally. Uh, and they came back with some ideas and, and we fine-tuned them and I'm delighted to say that we've got two really classy strips. I think these strips will be, uh, be the envy of, of, uh, of many supporters. I think uh, having a pink uh, tinge to, to the home kit is pretty special and having pink as a sort of main colour and the alternate kit is very striking, so um, we're expecting good things and it'll be great to see the teams running out of these kits during the RB7s series. We love sevens. The Commonwealth Games showed once again that Scotland loves sevens. 171,000 supporters coming along to, to Ibrox in Glasgow to cheer on not just Scotland but all the teams that were taking part. We invented sevens. It's our game that we've given to the world and we're very proud that our Scotland sevens team are going to be wearing these new kits and travelling around the world representing our nation. But there's no doubt that Sevens is growing, not just in Scotland, but globally. And we're really keen to do everything we can to make sure that our next RB Sevens tournament in Glasgow, which is in May in 2015, is a huge success. We're joined by um, Director of BT Scotland, Brendan Dick. Brendan, uh, we've unveiled a new Scotland Sevens jersey with the BT logo across the front. How pleased are you to see that, that, that new jersey? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, uh, apart from the fact I think the jersey is great and uh, I know that viewers will be looking forward to seeing all that uh, really stands out striking. Sevens rugby is a growing international sport and for us to be the partner um, of the Sevens team in the launch of the new season coming in, a four-year deal is uh, for us fantastic. We're a global company, we serve customers all over the world, 170 companies and this um, relationship complements that um, significantly and is part of the growing relationship with the SRU which we've been working on obviously for some months.